The opening night of the 2018 Southern Conference Tourney continues hitting the number 10 seed Chattanooga Mox against the number 7 seed Samford Bulldogs. Either of these teams would have to have an amazing weekend to win a SOCON championship. A throw down right there by Eric Adams, and another one goes for Coleman. And the first year head coach of Chattanooga, Lamont Paris, has seen enough. A three from downtown for Mikhail Foreman, and just like that, an 8-5 game on a 5-0 box run. Dave London coming up with a turnover, the big fella to the hole, and he scoops it up, and you see the box trying to get a little bit closer this time. They've pulled within two after trailing by eight. Within about a half a step of the speed of Sharkey, but that time losing it. London forcing it ahead to Dixon, and that Dixon with a throwdown. And the energy that both of these teams are playing, and look, it's it's a Friday night in Nashville, and both of them playing like it's tournament time. Again, the shot clock. And as I say that, what do you know? Jean Baptiste hadn't heard from him tonight until he drains that train. The great thing about college basketball, especially in March, just it doesn't matter what in tournament play, a great game can just break out. Out on the right wing, stepping to his right, firing away is Dixon. Second one, but the rebound taken and answered by McKinday London. Saw uh, London outside moments ago, inside on the saw him outside. Jean Baptiste gets the members roll here at Ashton. By Adams. Here come the Bulldogs, chance to take the lead, and Nolan, the freshman, the revert. By the 6 10 London ending an 8 0 run, and then London goes right past Lockett and does his best Eric Adams impersonation with that throwdown. After two minutes to play, Gene Baptiste, he's been good from downtown tonight, and that continues. What a huge boost he's given the mock. The 89 to 79 victory over the Sanford Bulldogs. This is a big old jolt of positive momentum for them as they now get ready for yet another game against their rival from Johnson City tomorrow.